close to the speed of light is a kind of elixir of life. Because time slows down close to the speed of light, special relativity provides us with a means of going to the stars. Welcome back, everybody, to day 96 of Llama Escapes. We are quickly closing in on that 100-day mark, and we've already made it, like, twice as far as the last series did. So don't worry, we are probably going the full home stretch this time. And we are in the home stretch for a lot of these skills. Uh, yeah, so I'm just here working on woodcutting and fire making at the same time as one should and uh, yeah, I'm going on another little weekend trip, so I'm going to be, you know, much fewer play hours. If anything big happens, sorry, you know, if I get a pet while I'm playing on mobile, it just I'm going to have to clip it later. Looking forward to some very big progress in this one. I mean, we do have two skills that are 98, quite a few that are in that little home stretch between 90 to 99. And I know 92 is only halfway there, but uh, for a lot of these you can pretty quickly knock out that last half. And we're back in town just like that seconds later. It's actually day 98, like two days have passed. Uh, I did a few hours of this last night. I'm gonna keep doing it for now because it is nice and relaxing. Just a little whap, 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 whapping away at the trees. Picked up 95 fire making last night and also 91 wood cutting. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to finish wood cutting, um, but you know, may as well start working on it. All right, we've been doing as promised woodcutting all day. Made a few more pieces of the woodcutting outfit earlier, but sadly do not have any gloves. Oaken Sentinel gloves, there we go. So that is the oak set done, uh, which is gonna help our XP rate uh, a fair bit, I think. Uh, the 5% increased chance to success rate um, is actually a little bit more than a 5% increased XP, I think. Uh, yeah, so up to 96 fire making, um, about 2.9 mil to go. And up to 92 wood cutting, about 6.1 mil left to go. So yeah, the wood cutting is going to dig a lot longer than the fire making. But getting the fire making done will be one more, uh, you know, one fewer daily challenge I can get each day, which will be nice. On to day 99, and I don't even know if these are worth showing off anymore, considering just how, how lucky I am uh, getting them, like, literally every hour. On to the first three-digit day, day 100, and here we have the finished woodcutting outfit. Um, finally got enough fragments to fully finish this thing out and turn it all into the nature sentinel pieces. Uh, the nice thing about this set, actually, and I don't know if I can do it in the invention guild here, uh, but if we run outside, there's this thing you can do once a day, which is spawning an evil tree. Uh, it's a miniature evil tree you just spawn it it's going to be based on your level so evil elder in this case and you see it just gives you know pretty solid xp drops right like 348 xp uh, i actually need to kind of count up how many drops this gives because i can't find it listed anywhere i think it's like 25,000 xp a day in total though um so one nice thing is between this and garajo dungeon um, I'm actually going to be able to finish up 99 woodcutting probably solely through those two methods without like, you know, going out, chopping trees again. Uh, at least that is after I finish my fire making, uh, which should be happening today. I also just realized that if I'm going to end up getting probably 4 million woodcutting EXP, uh, through those sources, right? Um, these woodcutting urns are, are kind of useless. <laughs> I uh, I overmade by about 400. That's, um, yeah, that's okay. And there we have completed our first Elder Rune burial set. Uh, I actually ended up getting an achievement for it. Now we just got to bang through it, and that will actually be 90 smithing taken care of, because these give a ton of XP. And there it is, just a few minutes later. 90 smithing picked up. Uh, now I'm actually going to throw this. Uh, no, I should still have a little bit of a banner boost left, but I need to go run and do uh, do my second cache of the day just an hour before uh, reset. The significant part about level 90 uh, is, well, one, there's a nice little free thing that I get to go pick up. 
Um, but also that banner boost takes you to 92, which means you get extra uh, bar chance for Elder Rune, uh, which which you know pretty important. Uh, it's like 10% fewer ores to mine. And this right here is the important thing that we get for free, a free attuned crystal weapon seed. Uh, so if I go over here, sing it, I already know what I am making. It's an attuned crystal halberd. Sing that right away. That's part of our harmonic dust that we had sitting around. And in fact, can we make the teleport seed? No, we need 4K. So uh, yeah, a little bit more harping to do for that. Uh, but this halberd is my current plan to train melee. Uh, it may end up being a little bit better to use uh, Elder Rune. I'm not totally sure. I have a feeling that this is going to be better. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, yeah, go ahead and augment that and start using it for melee training. Well, I think everyone knows what this clip is going to be. I promised it earlier. I'm sure people have seen it coming, but there it is. Another 99, down 99, fire making. Ba bam And it happened just on the hour, so I actually can uh, run straight to cash. That's uh, it's perfect. Um, but yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go pick up the cape, which happens to be right near. A, uh, a divination colony anyway all right this guy is one of the ones you can just trade to pick up the cape boom there it is attach that make it hooded throw it on the back and yep there we have it all right it's that time again for a little bit of fun let's pop some caskets we're gonna go reverse order this time so let's start with the hard yeah, okay. Uh, medium, nice. Got a fortunate there and six easies, actually, because I think this is from two weeks of penguins. So, boom. Absolute trash. Get out of here. All right, still still trash. Uh, still trash. Yeah, uh, that's a reroll token. Okay, I'll actually uh, use that right away. Pop another easy. Uh, let's get that out of here. We're rerolling unless it's a fortunate... Okay, that's not a fortunate, but I think that is new, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, let's pop another one. There's a fortunate. All right. And nothing. Yeah, yeah, let's just go for the reroll. All right. Total trash, uh, but we did get one new thing, and I guess that is a, a fortunate component, right? And look, I know this is going to be a little bit of XP waste, but yeah, I just want to pick it up anyway. So boom and boom. And there's another 99 today. 99 invention picked up. Yeah. Give me that cape. Right away. Boom. There we go. Throw it on. Attach it. And that that is two today. All right. This is going to be the perk setup. We've got precise for genocidal, which isn't super relevant because I don't plan on doing a ton of slayer with this thing. Uh, and equilibrium four. Oh, and there is another one done. How many is that today? That is one, two, three down for the day. 99 HP. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of planning this out, but I thought it would be a, a good day. You know, day 100. Good time to pick all of this up. And here it is. I think I have that money. Boom. Pick up the HP cape. I, I really do love these legacy designs. Oh, that's insane. No way. All right, we're starting off day 101. I managed to solo Astalarn, and on the first solo, we got Greater Flurry. <laughs> what? All right, I'll uh, I'll take it. <laughs> let's uh, let's read that right away. How much is that worth, by the way? Yeah, 64 mil. Cool. Yeah, let's unlock that. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, so if it wasn't apparent, um, yeah, I'm trying to re-unlock that Slayer method uh, that I had originally planned on. So yeah, I came in, you know, killed all the dragons, because they're decent XP anyway. Uh, it's what I would do if I couldn't kill Astalarn. I would just keep killing, you know, the, the Celestial and Red Dragons at the start of the dungeon. Um, yeah, so we just got one more to try and take down, and that's Varric Lith, and I believe it's supposed to be easier than Astalarn, so, uh, yeah, let's hope. 
for anyone that doesn't know, by the way, the uh, summer sale is currently going on. I don't know how much longer it's going to last. Um, probably another week or two. Not totally sure. Uh, but anyway, I dropped all of the Dragon Maddox and the uh, extra Mazcab Codex that I had to a friend of mine. And he passed over some bonds so I can finally have some breathing room in my bank. Uh, yeah, so that's all the bank slots finally unlocked. That's a that's a nice feeling. An extra 360 spaces to, to play with. Uh, not like, you know, this game isn't totally filled with items anyway. <laughs> I will uh, I'll definitely fill that up eventually. Well, uh, two things. Uh, one, I managed to kill Veraclith on my own. So, Slayer Method unlocked. Uh, two, I did that entire fight with uh, my F5, or my Quick Prayer 5, by accident. I did not realize this was on my bar. I need the four, not the five. So yeah, I managed to kill Varaglith using turmoil instead of anguish. That is a huge oopsie. That's why he was so difficult and I felt like I was somehow missing even though uh, the hit calculator said I should have a 100% hit chance. Anyway, 23 onyx dust, well earned. And there we've done it, the dank task number 420. Taken down 123 Slayer points left, so time to build that number up a little bit. And then find like one or two more Dragon Tasks. Uh, picked up 93 Slayer and most of the way through that level now. About 5.3 million left to go on that 99. Also picked up 94 range and I started at 92. Uh, so that's, that's quite a lot. All right, blew quite a few Slayer points again. Uh, started at like... Yeah, 700 and something, and now I'm down to uh, 248 after preferring and extending. But we got another Dragon Task, 164, and that is going to take us quite far, actually. Uh, that is about 2.8 mil XP, so just over half of what we have left to go. And we have been grinding hard today. There is a 96 Slayer picked up. Oh, by the way, it is day 102. I don't think I mentioned that in the previous clip. Uh, but anyway, this is what the method looks like. Boom to the portal, boom inside, you know, boom, you teleport at the chest. And uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward from here. You just dash on down and they're hanging up up there. And just a few runs later, here we are picking up 97 range. I also picked up my first virtual level, which is level 100 constitution. Uh, yeah, I just realized after all of these kills that I'm actually getting more ranged XP than I am, uh, Slayer. So I think I'm going to end up getting 99 range alongside 99 Slayer in just a little bit. Oh, and that level coming in on the second to last run of this task, 97 Slayer. Big level, 2.3 mil to go. On to day 103, still working on Slayer, and we ended up getting a Nodon Dragonkin task as the last task uh, that we couldn't skip. So I ended up uh, trying out about an hour of normal mode, Karapak, uh, duoed with someone, um, didn't end up getting any drops, and uh, I don't know, it was nice to, to learn the boss, learn new mechanics. Uh, see something I haven't really seen before. I uh, got 16 kills in on that hour. I did die quite a few times um, to begin with, but then towards the end, you know, completely deathless uh, for about a good six or seven kills in a row. Um, yeah, it's got a definite learning curve to it, but once you can get those uh, those slams figured out, you're uh, you're gold. So yeah, that's that's all I really have to think about the new boss. Turns out those dragon tasks, even with access to the gemstone dragon task, incredibly rare. So uh, here we go. We find ourselves back at Kree yet again. That's a that's a nice drop, actually. 15 crush nests. Uh, I will take it. But that is 150 KC down the drain. And we still only have a single pair of gloves. So uh, yeah, let's hope that turns around. Maybe on this task? All right, my luck is just a little cursed. That is three Godsword Shard 3s before any others. It's also my second one from Armadillo, so pretty, pretty sad. I heard my luck ring go off. I got very excited, and it's a offhand dragon longsword. Are you kidding? Disassemble that. Just get out of here. All right, another task done here. I think that puts us on 187 kill count. Anything? Wow! 
<laughs> okay. That's actually incredible that I... <laughs> I'm recording that. Uh, all right, cool. I got a hilt. Uh, sadly, it's not that useful in RS3, uh, but uh, I mean, I'll take it. On to day 104, and yesterday basically ended shorts. We had a bunch of stuff going on uh, IRL, so took a few hours off the game, of course. But here we are, level 89 crafting, which is nice uh, for a few different unlocks, but that is also 2600 total, which is the second to last 100 total level milestone, basically. Um, yeah, that unlocks potion flasks and crystal flasks without boosting, which is quite nice. Um, I've also gone around and planted some fell stalk because I need to make more overloads. Uh, I'm down to just two doses in these crystal flasks, uh, but I thought, hey, you know, go ahead and get this level done. Can make some more crystal flasks right now, and then I can use a uh, plus two boost from the banner on my herb lore to actually make those potions. So I'm gonna make some uh, holy overloads, and I will make a few more searing overloads to pair with this slayer task that I finally happened into. 144 dragons. I do want to note that I have been saving a lot of my crafting materials up in the bank, similar to like fletching, where I could burn through like 85 to I think 96 now fletching uh, in all of a day if I wanted to. Um, kind of waiting to see if I can get pieces of the uh, artisan's outfit through stealing creation. Yeah, so I have about 700 uncut rubies, 700 uncut diamonds, 240 uncut dragon stones. Uh, but the big stuff is, of course, the robust glass and the crystal glass. Um, yeah, that is, <laughs> that's a lot, I know. Um, I'm gonna just make exactly what I need to, like, you know, go into Herblore or whatever for now to, to keep working on my combats, but, uh, yeah, I'm saving the rest for later. Last time I did BGH, I ended up getting a reinforced dinosaur pelt, and I didn't know it was actually to upgrade the BGH Hunter Lodge, so there we go. Tier 3 Hunter Lodge, which is somewhat useful. Uh, you know, removing one type of frog means you can... Basically, you save an arrow. You save chopping one log at the start of each game. It's it's pretty minor, I think. Uh, uh, something else I have, I think, is the yeah the dinosaur rib bone, but I can't quite upgrade the player lodge yet for the skill cape stand because I don't have 90 construction. Um, maybe that's a goal I should set. And here it comes. Everyone's been seeing it, uh, you know, on the way for a few days now. But there is the next 99. 99 ranged picked up. But just because that is picked up doesn't mean that the grind is ending because we have a few more levels to pick up here. And this will be the last run of Hydrix Dragons. The XP here is just fantastic. Uh, yeah, boom. There we have it. Almost dying, but 99 Slayer done just about an hour later. Time to go pick up uh, two capes, I guess. See, I knew that I was going to end up getting a lot of extra Slayer from doing BGH, so technically, I could have saved myself maybe an hour, but big deal, who cares, man, I just wanted the cape acquired, so boom, there is the ranged cape, and the Slayer cape, one of the favorites, the crowd favorites, the everybody favorites. Uh, I did not pay that much attention to this, I had... Four onyxes sitting here in my elite dungeon chest. Ah, that is insane. <laughs> okay. Um, awesome. Yeah, that is great for the future. Wow. What? Yeah, so I remember showing when I got my first onyx just a few days ago, but my total stack is just, it's up to like seven now. I mean, 331 dust plus four uncuts. That is sick. And uh, this is just confirming something I mentioned. Uh, I think it was in the last video, um, but it's whenever you get 99 and one of those skills that goes to 120, you can't toggle it off for daily challenge purposes. Uh, so that specifically refers to Slayer, Herblore, and Farming, uh, and Archaeology in this case. So those four, uh, also I guess Dungeoneering, well, it's five of them. <laughs> um, so, you know, in those cases, it's a little bit less valuable to get them to 99 right away. Uh, yeah, for the case of Slayer, it's just because I felt like burning through it. And moved straight on to training Melee in ED3 yet again. Reset our progress in ED2, so if I ever wanted to go back to Dragon Slayer, well, 
Yeah, it's going to take some setup, uh, another ass to learn, and Varak kill. Uh, but anyway, something I just picked up, aside from uh, actually having 90 in both attack and strength now, so that's a few strength levels into this grind, I got 100 invention uh, off of the most recent siphon I've done, and that is actually an important level for this series, believe it or not. Yes, <laughs> my strategies rely on a post-99 skill. Uh, so... Using extreme inventions, you can boost up to 117, uh, and 117 unlocks, I believe it's the last machine uh, for the invention guild, and that is the uh, high capacity plank maker, I believe it's called. Uh, and this is incredibly important just because it's a time save first off, but it's also a big money save uh, ultimately, so I will be making that um, probably soon like as soon as my aura wears off which it did so probably uh after this run i will be going and making that and just throwing all the mahogany planks or mahogany logs i will ever need into it so i boosted up and now i should be able to upgrade this into a large uh so that's done i should be able to upgrade my alchemizer to the mk2 which is also quite nice that saves on fire runes and then let's come down here and build the plank maker which is the very important one and can we upgrade it no i am missing power okay so i will need to upgrade the generator again oh i've got everything i need perfect boom that is done and yeah there we have it high capacity plank maker and alchemizer mk2 going all right starting off day 105 with another pet uh, yeah, there's there's the Morty pet. I was wondering when that was going to happen, considering just how much HP I'm technically training. <laughs> but uh, yeah, th there, there we got it. Oh, I do want to say that along this grind, I have been running the Alchemizer nonstop. So you can see a ton of common relics in there. Uh, I think I started, let's just say I started at 41 mil. Uh, and since I do hope to finish this grind today then we'll see how much I made along the way. Also, I am siphoning my gear very regularly. Um, yeah, there's only so many that I can make. <laughs> uh, and I don't have scavenging on these uh, Torag plate legs, sadly. So, yeah, eventually I think I am going to run out. Um, I don't know. I, I do have, like, like quite a few. Uh, let's see, five more. So 15 total. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna keep getting my invention up a little bit though. I'm already at 102. I'll probably end up around 105 maybe. All right. Uh, well, there's the other one. Uh, <laughs> Sifu, the attack pet. Boom. So I think the only ones we're missing are, uh, oddly magic, uh, defense. So those are my first two. And then, uh, summoning. Yeah. Those are the last three combat pets missing. I think I started today around level 92 in both attack and strength, and I'm up to level 98 strength now. Uh, everything is starting to feel within reach. Actually, uh, yeah, attack is about to tick over. I am uh, currently clocking about 750k XP an hour in both skills. Not in total, in each. So about one and a half mil combined, plus like 130,000 Dungeoneering. That got 97, by the way, close to 98, uh, which is just, it's awesome. <laughs> I have earned an insane amount of XP today. Uh, I will mention the total later on. All right, it is finally that time to just bam, pick up 99 attack. And immediately after... Right, 99 strength as well. <laughs> so let's get the hell out of here. And uh, yeah, let's check on the loot. Because that is the big thing, right? Uh, let's see what's going on in this loot chest. Oh yeah, okay. Nine and a half mil right away. Boom. 455 huge spiky salvages. That right there is, uh, let's see... 18 mil, yeah, we'll bank that. Uh, this right here, also 18 mil. 292 of those is like seven and a half mil. Uh, a thousand of these is straight up five mil. Uh, then there are a few other, you know, various alkables in here that we can bank. Um, hit prayer potion, super restore RDT, which was nice. The dark anemica stone spirits are going to be 
awesome uh some u logs okay yeah just a bunch of stuff you know what actually let's just let's hit bank call let's go for it okay and uh oh i have picked up 105 invention as well and is one more thing i need to go and do real quick all right you know i could have waited for more bones to come in through bgh but i just felt like picking it up so there's also 99 prayer that is 399s in the course of like five minutes which is which is pretty cool uh now i want to say that i am done with combat i'm done with combats i'm not done with combats but i'm i'm done basically with combat so what i mean by that is of course i don't have 99 summoning yet but the main combat-y things that, that most people think of, you know, getting their combat skills to 99, getting Slayer to 99, those are done. The last thing is I'm going to have to spend like 40 minutes a week gathering charms to stock up for summoning. Yeah, so that's going to have to happen, but that's going to take a few weeks. So, uh, yeah, we have, we have three, three capes to go claim. And hello, Brother Jared. This here is the third cape that I am looking for. Yes, uh, please, I will purchase this cape. I think I have the money right here. Throw the hood on. And, uh, hey, I'm sorry, Rocky. You got to get out of our way, buddy. Boom. Let's see. There's the attack. There's the strength, which is actually really good for PVM. And there is prayer. Done. So the XP I've gained in the last 24 hours is totaling 28 million, which is just insane, <laughs> okay? Uh, I mean, I know a fair portion of that is in HP, a fair portion of that is in Invention post-99 for both of those skills, but 28 million in a day? Pretty much just, just a day. I, I think that's a new record for me overall. I gotta say, um, yeah. Oh, and th there's one more thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to blow a siphon right here on this thing. That's really, really close to uh, level 12. But anyway, uh, that is actually going to put me past the 300 million total XP milestone. So that's, that's something as well. Um, yeah. Time to load up our alchemizer and, uh, yeah, get these, get these relics gone soon. Um, but anyway, all that being said, it has been a while since I uploaded, I know, uh, but I wanted to get all of this done so I could get the clickbait title combats done, surprise everyone with like, I don't know, a bunch of 99s in this video. I I actually don't know how many I picked up just in this video, um, uh, but I believe the total is up to 11. Let's see. Yep, 11 99s. So thanks for watching everyone, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. I actually have uh, quite a bit planned over the next few weeks considering we're kind of in the home stretch now.